Well, the, the family's agony painfully clear as they, they address the media there. Lee Rigby's stepfather, his mother, and also his wife, uh, clearly and uh, obviously in a distressed state. The uh, religion, a number of religious leaders have been talking. There's been a great concern, of course, over the last few days that the attackers would get their way and that they would create more tension between different communities. Woolwich itself in southeast London is a very diverse area. We know the two suspects in this uh, are from roundabout within this area here and uh, further to the northeast of London as well. Uh, the Archbishop of Canterbury has been talking along with the Assistant Secretary General of the Muslim Council of Britain and we'll hear from both of them now. First of all, the Archbishop of Canterbury talking about community relations. We've all been horrified by the brutal murder of drummer Lee Rigby in Woolwich. And all of our prayers and mine are with his family, with his colleagues and comrades, and all those who witnessed this crime, and those in the community who have been so affected by it. It's very good to be here today with the Bishop of Leicester, in whose diocese we are, with the Bishop of Woolwich, with the other bishops, Pontefract and Bradford, and with Sheikh Ibrahim Mogra, who is co-chair of the Christian Muslim Forum. I want to recognize the response of churches, mosques, and other faith and civil society groups as well as those of brave individuals who have done so much to bring our communities together at this time. The strong response from the Muslim Council of Britain and many other organizations has rightly emphasized that these acts have no place in Islam. Well, Justin Welby there, the Archbishop of Canterbury, referring to the response from Muslim community leaders and religious leaders uh, they, they were, uh, almost without exception, very quickly came out with not only condemnation of the attacks, but also support for the military as well. Uh, and we'll hear now from, as Justin Welby mentioned him, Sheikh Ibrahim Mogra. The Muslim communities of Britain, like the rest of the country, are shocked and appalled by the horrific murder in Woolwich. The murderers chanted slogans during the heinous crime claiming to do it in God's name. Far from it. As our Prime Minister rightly concluded, this is a betrayal of Islam. Indeed, this is a truly barbaric act that has no basis in Islam and we condemn it utterly and unreservedly. Our thoughts and prayers are with Lee Rigby's family and friends and especially his two-year-old son. Drummer Rigby was a serving member of the armed forces. Muslims have long served in this country's armed forces, proudly and with honor. This attack on a member of the armed forces is dishonorable and no cause can justify this murder. This crime has heightened tensions throughout the country. The Muslim Council of Britain calls on all our communities, Muslim and non-Muslim, to come together in solidarity to ensure the forces of hatred do not prevail. Well, Sheikh Ibrahim Mogra there adding his voice to the days uh, of support for uh, drummer Lee Rigby and condemnation of this attack and support for the wider military as well. Community leaders and religious leaders all anxious uh, to speak with one voice and to deny the attackers their wish as one of them said to the people with their camera phones in that 15 minutes or so uh, before they were shot by the armed police, they wanted to create war on the streets of London. And certainly there's been absolutely no indication of, of, of really much problem at all, never mind what they were after. Have a look behind me now at the uh, gathering around the flowers here, a large group. There is pretty well a constant stream of local people coming to leave their flowers from all walks of life. Some of them are military. I spoke to two people from the Royal Engineers who uh, one of them was in his blazer and with a, a medal from Northern Ireland. And they were, they were saying they were proud to still be in their military clothing. 
and many of the gestures on the cards here talk about support for the wider military, support for the fact that drummer Lee Rigby had served in Afghanistan in Helmand province, a very dangerous part of the world for the military of course, support for the fact that he risked his life and that others have done the same and then has been taken in such a, such a dreadful way on the streets of Woolwich at 20 past two in the afternoon of course more flowers arriving just off to the left here of of the group just a reminder that there's much more on the BBC website and there's more of the family's statement the family of drummer Lee Rigby speaking